Greetings, everyone. We continue our journey through the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. And um, yesterday we talked about how we invoke St. Joseph and our beautiful Mother Mary, Mama Mary, in every Mass. Um, today I want to reflect that, of course, we're, we're in the, remember where we are in the bird's eye view here. We're talking about the Eucharistic prayer. And in the Eucharistic prayer, every single one of them mentions the saints. And um, of course, we talked yesterday about the two biggest, the two biggest saints, Our Lady, Queen of all saints, and our holy Saint Joseph. But, 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 we also invoke all of the saints in every single Mass. Um, every Eucharistic prayer it has a way of invoking them. Now, of course, who doesn't love the Roman Canon, which is another word for Eucharistic prayer number one, which lists a whole litany of saints um, and here's how it goes. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Pete, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Simon, and Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sixtus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christogonus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damian, and all your saints. We ask that in their merits and prayers, in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. So here we have a litany first of a bunch of the, the apostles, and then it goes into some of the first popes of our church, and, and then um, a few others. But then at the end of Eucharistic Prayer 1, we get another beautiful litany of saints. And here's how it goes. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercy, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merit, but granting us your pardon. And that, my friends, so that's Eucharistic Prayer 1. I mean, it literally lists all those saints. So of course, when it is any one of those feast days, I like to use the Roman canon because their names are mentioned, you know? And um, just beautiful. I, I know of one uh, family that is very holy and they have named all of their children after the saints that are listed here in Roman, the Roman canon, which is so cool because I just think that's awesome. I mean, we Catholics should do cool stuff like that, you know, and, um, and, and they keep having more and more babies and so they can have more and more of these saints uh, in their own families after these, uh, named after these holy pain. So it's just so cool. But Eucharistic prayer two um, is just mentions like all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. Eucharistic prayer three is the only Eucharistic prayer where the priest can add a saint or two. And so you'll notice um, it says that you can add the, the saint of the parish, um, which as St. Vincent I do, but St. Joseph, of course, he's already in there. Or you can add the, the saint of the day, um, you know, or some related saint there. As for example, we had Divine Mercy Sunday, so of course I threw in St. Faustina, and St. John Paul II, you know, but you can always throw in those names of the saints that we are celebrating, venerating in a special way in that Mass. Um, now, listen to this. This is, this is the prayer for Re Eucharistic prayer for reconciliation number two. I love it. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, blah, 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 blah. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom until the hour when we stand before you, Saints among the saints in the halls of heaven with the Blessed Virgin Mary. So it's just like, can you imagine the halls of heaven, the saints among saints? And, and this, this, this reality that we celebrate at every Mass, because there's only one Mass. There's only one Mass. And at that one Mass, the whole family of God is there. Because all of us, all of the family of God, all of the communion of saints, all of us who are together are in 
the Lord. And so in this beautiful way, all of the saints are here. And if only we could see it, if we could see it, that's why one reason we always should have statues around, because it reminds us that literally they are here, not just spiritually, but like their physical, their, their being is here. And, and that at, at the mass, we come together into the family of Jesus, gathered at his table in his body and blood. And this, my friends, is the reality. And, and this is the food here, Jesus, that can make you and me a saint.